My name is Michael McGuire. I work across the street at that beautiful building on the hill on Linda Drive, um, School of Human Ecology. What I'm going to share with Google Communities um, is right now something to project for a potential tool for a couple things that I think are really important to instruction. One would be how might this certainly be applicable with students and with classes you teach. And another that I can talk more knowledgeably about firsthand is how does it work uh, collegially with other instructors, other folks with whom you're working and doing good instructional planning. Because that's the sort of the test run that we've done since early uh, in the fall semester. This is actually a, a community of instructors' stories uh, all together in one. So what we wanted, um, there we were, probably six of us, uh, along with uh, several other folks in the school, our uh, technology folks, uh, academic technology staff, John was there. Uh, at, the, at the outset, and uh, doing as good committees, uh, committees do, clunking along with our email communication back and forth and those threads that are annoying and trying to figure out who's saying what. Um, and I think we need to credit you, John, for just giving a gentle nudge of, you know, there's another potential tool out there. Um, enter Google Plus. At the time, very potential and not really. Yeah. Um, and it hadn't been up and running uh, with UW, so anybody using it within with study to U were test groups, right? And there we were. We were the innovators. We were going to be a test group. Um, and John has heard me say that. We spent uh, a lot of our initial days with this complaining and tripping over each other and frustrated and um, it, because a number of us are members of the Lead Pencil Society, you know, we're trying to figure out you know, how do we find our way. But the cool thing about this platform that we found is that you can. It's, it's got enough and it's got the, the robust backing of Google. It's got enough intu intuitive dimensions to it that we finally got to a point where it became a really usable tool. And then um, what carried over into our meetings was it actually became, this was, and I don't think I've shared this with John before, I'll confess, uh, a real feeling of online community. Because we were contributing, um, well, you know how it goes in meetings. If you have a standing meeting that's every week or every other week or every month, um, there are usually uh, some tasks that need to be done between meetings. Think of it, you're working with several colleagues developing a course that's never been taught before, um, back to my point, I'll back up just a little bit on the purpose of the course. So the idea was we would have a course for freshmen entering the School of Human Ecology as sort of a survey of human ecology uh, topics. That would help to feed our undergraduate majors and deal with that issue of being a small school and needing to sustain enrollment. The course uh, working title, we, we, we've landed on it, it's official, it's going to be in the course guide and, and ready for registration for fall of 2015. It is um, Purpose, Meaning, yes. and the Ecology of Human Happiness. Eco you. I'm branding it as much as I can, that's why it's on my Purpose, Meaning, and the Ecology of Human We went through, and, and the reason I hesitate, we went through about a dozen different iterations of what the title could be and back and forth. And we did that, by the way, through this platform of Google+. So we actually have weekly meetings that are about two hours. They go like that because it's a lot of fun sharing ideas and resources. And you can only do so, so much during a weekly meeting when you're with each other, uh, especially with something as rich as developing a new course. And our challenge, like a lot of curriculum challenges, we have this many resources and we need to pack it into 15 weeks of a one semester course. So how do you share all that on a regular basis? Uh, Google Plus was a great tool to do that. We would, uh, it, it functions a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, like a lively interactive blog. You can drop uh, pretty much anything digital in there. So we had videos, uh, connections if you're on your Google ac account to all the docs. We have a docs page that's probably got 30 or 40 different docs of uh, different versions of syllabi, different reading resources. Um, 
John is scrolling through some of the contributions. Uh, we like to poke fun at each other to find out what time people submitted things. Linda, our uh, sage in the group, is known for her midnight uh, offerings sometimes. Um, but what's really cool is when you go in, when we go in together, we can really kind of, uh, instead of read each other's mind, actually read what's on people's mind at the time that it comes up to them. Um, and you know how it is when you have, uh, teaching-wise, a great idea you want to apply to what you're doing with your class, and that'll come on the bus ride home, or you know, when you're driving the kids somewhere, or just before you fall asleep. And uh, Google Plus has been a tool for us to take care of it right then and there. And that has sort of a, a, a fun, raw feel to it. You know, I just came from a meeting and found this out about thus and such. Or, I'm in a meeting now and cheating by, you know, sending this on my smartphone <laughs> in the back of the room. Or, so, there's a real lively feel to that exchange. One of our biggest challenges that I don't know that we're quite over yet with a commitment to using this for the class is that learning curve piece. You know, you don't want to spend a lot of time orienting students to how to use the technology. Um, enough of our incoming freshmen have been on uh, learning management systems, so their integration into, you know, Learn at UW is for the most part okay. Um, there's some, I, I would imagine, initial orientation that they're doing. This is another um, technology piece that you know, all, uh, part of our hesitation, to be honest, was, boy, it took us several weeks to get this up and going. If we're going to start a course in the fall, we want students to be ready to go. And one of the things to uh, keep in mind is that a lot of the upcoming freshmen are coming from high schools that have been Google Apps schools now. Google Apps are almost ubiquitous in, in Wisconsin and a lot of other states. So a lot of them are very familiar with the Google ecosystem. So that might help address that. And another thing that we also admitted was likely a lot of them will be further ahead than we are. So uh, that's not going to be so much of a bad thing. Um, so I'll quick go back to uh, what we wanted then was uh, a, a tie-in for continuity of our content in our meetings in developing this course. Uh, what we tried <coughs> was I thought it was uh, probably easy for John with his familiarity technology watching us emailing back and forth thinking, wait a second. <laughs> So we tried the Google Plus platform <coughs> and liked it. And what has happened since is, again, um, a pretty lively exchange, a good resource for us. I'm thinking of this for my own blended learning project um, of developing uh, an online community of team of folks to work on blended learning projects in our school. Uh, what we do next time, um, I think probably uh, experiment earlier. Uh, I would say it's mid-February if you're looking for integration of this for a summer or fall course. Uh, jump right in. Start playing around. Um, one of the things that's cool about the Google Plus platform is that you can, and John was good in encouraging us, join other Google Plus communities. There are some standing international communities like TED Education is one I've joined. You can also indicate whether or not you want notifications from that community to uh, come to your email. Um, I was just exchanging that with John this morning. Uh, a week ago with this group, I joined the practice Google community piece and have since gotten a few dozen emails and think I might want to turn that notification off. Uh, so you do have filtering control on your end of it too. Um, but a great tool that we sort of stumbled on and stumbled into and took some time to figure out was worth the time doing it. And uh, I'm now familiar and comfortable enough with it that I'm um, thinking about ways that I want to bring it into my own classrooms. So our primary use has been with colleagues, with each other, uh, developing curricula together. Um, you know, its application for our classroom maybe will be in this session next fall to tell you about it. So. Fantastic. Yeah, there it is.